Welcome to another Fredos.com walkthrough. Awesome job, you've booked your shipment. Now there's just one last step to get it processed. In order for that to happen, the logistics provider that you've selected needs to know the consigner and consignee details for your shipment. So what does that mean? The consigner is the exporter of record for your shipment. The consigner is usually one of the following, the factory where your goods are manufactured, the sourcing agent who serves as the main point of contact for your export and takes ownership of the export, including finding your factory and arranging necessary documentation, or the origin location if different from the factory, i.e. the factory's warehouse. Now, the consignee is the importer of record of your shipment. They're also responsible for paying duties and any additional freight charges. The consignee is usually one of the following. You, aka the buyer of the goods from overseas, aka the person who placed the booking on Fredos.com, or your client, if you represent someone who will serve as the final destination. If you are shipping to a third party like Amazon, or if your goods stop at an inspection service before they go to the final destination, these parties are not the consignee. The importer is the consignee. If you're shipping XWorks or FOB, the consignee is responsible for freight charges once the consigner hands off to the forwarder. So let's fill in the consigner and consignee information. To add a consigner, just click Add Consigner and fill in the details. Then press save and add to list. To add the consignee, follow the same steps, just press add consignee this time. There are just a few more documents to upload before finishing up. One, which is required, is the commercial invoice. Your commercial invoice is the passport for your shipment and should be provided by the supplier, consigner, or exporter of record. This document is required for air, ocean, and express shipments. The other, which is not required, is the packing list, which describes the volume, weight, and number of boxes in your shipment and should be provided by the supplier, consigner, or exporter of record. To upload your commercial invoice, simply press Upload. If you have a packing list or any other documents to upload, you can do so here and here. Once all the required documents and information are uploaded and completed, you can see another full summary of your shipment. And you can see your checklist complete as well. From here, your logistics provider will handle your shipment and will be in touch with you directly. See you in our next walkthrough.